couple things I need to go and not hit the truck big huge giant truck behind me because it's really big and it's sticking out and yeah I'm kind of close closer than I'd like so Sunday everybody it's Sunday May 2nd it's 1 11 p.m. or something like that and yeah about 12 after one anyway we're gonna take crazy pants out for a walk and then we're gonna run over to Costco really quick because I've got some ancient video VHS videotape um, of which we had transferred to DVD a long time ago. We might have done it as a DIY, I don't remember to be honest. But the video, the DVDs are cracked. So they're unreadable. Um, Costco will still transfer v VHS tape to other media. And these days they'll put it on a thumb drive. So I think I'm gonna spend the extra couple bucks and have these two videotapes put onto a thumb drive. We have other VHS tapes I may have done it at some point too but initially I just need these first two so guys it's almost 1 p.m. on Monday May 3rd I think it's the third anyway um I filmed one two four videos quick videos this morning um one for my creative year one for a life of art and self-expression my two Facebook groups links are in the link tree list of links down below along with my Instagram, my Etsy shop, and all that stuff. Um, anyway, I also filmed uh, my mission inspiration video. Um, and this month is going to be a talking one. Everything is drying. It's, I'm going to go have some lunch and then let it dry. And then it should be ready for some still images afterwards. Um, and I'll probably edit everything tomorrow. Maybe. Okay. The noise outside that you hear probably humming in the background is my neighbor doing some power washing. Um, I spent the afternoon working on some more digital downloads, um, which will be in the Etsy shop sometime this week. Um, the patrons over on Patreon are going to get them free. So if you want free stuff like that, they're going to get at least one of them. Um, anyway, so and then I cut um, my copy of them out on Avery sticker paper. These are some. And um, these are all including some of the watercolor faces that I've been painting lately. And um, when I cut them out, um, they're about one and a half by one and a half inches square, approximately. And then I, of course, couldn't throw, I'm having trouble being coordinated, okay. I couldn't throw the little extra strips of label paper away for some reason today. I don't have lots of acrylic sprays because fun fact, I don't like them. And I had one that was clogged and I already had to put it in a different bottle. Um, but I do obviously, I own a few, I own six. Um, and usually they're the um, mixed media art sprays, these. I have one more that's clogged, so I'm gonna have to dig around and see if I have a bottle to put it in. But that. They just clog, they're high maintenance. And I'm not about doing art that's high maintenance necessarily. I don't, yeah, anyway. Um, but I took the extra scraps of the Aber label paper um, from cutting out the stickers and I put them in cookie sheets and I sprayed them with some of the acrylic sprays. And we'll see what happens when they dry. And yeah. My two journal pages I did are both dry or drying, and so that's good. The two of the ones that I filmed, and I've got some watercolor stuff out because I was thinking I was going to put watercolor on those label paper scraps, and that's I was like, wait, don't I have sprays somewhere? I should probably use those up. So I didn't use them up necessarily, but I did use them.
I'm gonna end up getting wet because of course I didn't wear the right coat. But how do you just not love the sound of rain? All right, let's get some more Guys, stuff. Welcome to Tuesday, uh, April 4th, 11.57 a.m., almost lunchtime. I know, I got wrapped up in like three projects at once. Advertising for the class I'm teaching with Bea Grob. By the way, there's still student space available. My link for the class is down in the video description. Um, I am doing an exciting class, my part of the class. There's a bunch of different teachers and they're all doing something different and all very exciting. My part of the class is exploring our use of color in our art and new ways to come up with new color combinations and the developing of a tool, reference tool for your art room that you can use to inspire you. So um, yeah, I, I hope you all choose to sign up for the class. And uh, anyway, yeah, so I've been working on ads for that. My daughter's helping me. She's in advertising and marketing, by the way. If you need somebody to do that, she's available for hire. Um, anyway, I'm also going to be exploring more making my own stickers out of label paper. This is lab These are just scraps of label paper and I ended up spraying them with some ink sprays inks and sprays I have left. I don't have a lot of the sprays anymore, but I really like kind of the washi tape thing that happened because of it. And I already used some of the small pieces in my journal last night. Um, and I'm thinking well, I'm gonna do some more. I also have an idea for some cheesecloth. So I got out the rest of my sprays and then a few colors of ink that I don't have in spray. Um, so I can do like rainbow, rainbow, like rainbow. Okay. And so I'm saving the last video. I got um, another clip filmed for the Use It or Lose It um, for um, April, and I, I, I labeled it May. I'll have to fix that. I can't just change the name after it's done saving. Anyway, um, where I did these, if you want to know what I did for those or what they are, you got to watch the Use It or Lose It. It will air... Tuesday, May 11th. So maybe hit that little notifications bell down below by the subscribe button. And then you'll know when the videos come out. All right. And then if any of you dedicated followers out there have any idea what these are, <laughs> this is why I label things, people, because I don't have any idea. I evidently mix these because these are home chef little containers that I reuse in the art room when we get Home Chef meal kits. I think they might be DIY fabric paint done with fabric medium, maybe. There is a yellow, an orange, and a white. There is two colors of blue and a green. And there's what looks like black. I don't remember what they are. They're in a little basket. This is why I label everything, because I have no idea. They're still fluid, so I haven't, they haven't dried out, so they haven't been down there so long they've dried out. I'm going to have to figure out something to use them up on. Uh, again, I don't know what they are, um, but I do have some scraps of canvas um, that I can pull out and um, maybe do something with those because, yeah, they got to get used. But, yeah, if you were... So we are in the car, obviously, and um, I've already been up working for a bit. I filmed a video clip for the class I'm teaching in June. I will insert it right here. Hey everyone, do you ever feel like you're stuck in a color rut? When you're working on your art or in your art journals, do you always pick the same few colors every time? Do you need maybe a tool or technique to help you experiment, play, and maybe even mix new colors. Join me in a class I'm teaching with Bea Grob, Shell C, Peg Robinson, Marie Linder, Petra Fuchs in June. I am, for my portion, teaching a class on doing exactly that, helping you break out of your box and create a tool to help you break out of your color rut. 
and show you how to use it. So join me and let's play and experiment and have fun. I think you're going to enjoy all the content from all the teachers. Use the link down below to sign up today. Class starts in June. Get your spot now. All right, so I need to go to Staples. I need to pick up some stuff. And then I've got to go drop the car off because today is time to drop the car off to have the water seal leak fixed or the water leak fixed. I'm assuming it's a seal or something. Um, I know there's some drain pipes that go down the A pillar on both sides of the car from the sunroof. And I think they're kind of known to be a leaky problem. So I don't know. This place, that's all they do is car water leaks. They don't do anything else. So we're gonna go get it fixed. Okay, so if you are a regular subscriber and follower of my YouTube channel, you'll notice I fixed a bunch of YouTube shorts today that I did wrong. I formatted them wrong. I had quite a few on my channel, but they were all formatted incorrectly. So I fixed it. And so you'll see a flurry of them showed up all on the same day. Um, YouTube shorts are just short one minute or less videos formatted in a vertical format instead of horizontal like the one you're watching now. Um, I think they're competing with like TikTok and stuff anyway. Um, one of the videos is advertising the class in June that's coming up that I'm teaching with Bea Grob. I think it's a pretty exciting class. I'll link the short for it in the video description. I also did one with a fun filter just because I felt like it for no particular reason. It has absolutely nothing to do with the class. I'll actually insert the video clip for that one right here. Um, okay. Do you ever feel like you're stuck in a color rut? That with your art or art journals, you always pick the same few colors and things every time? Do you maybe need a tool or a technique that you can use and you can reference to to help you break out of that box and give you permission to try new colors and new things in your art? Well, I, for my portion of the class, I'm teaching in June with Bea Grob, Shell C, Peg Robinson, Petra Fuchs, and Marie Linder. I'm going to show you a new tool you can make yourself to help you break out of at least the color rut. I think you're gonna love it. I show you how to use it. Join me in June, get your spot today. The link is down below. I'll see you there. And Bye I also spent a lot of time yesterday and today using up some more stuff. I added some gold paints and inks to the purple that I did yesterday. Purpley pink inky spray color things I did yesterday. Um, I did the rest of the fabric with some more of the gold and some pearly white inks and things that I had to use them up. I've got quite a few. See all that back there? And this over here, like every surface is covered practically. Now it's all got to dry. And then I can pull out what I want to use for my personal stash. I may put some in some goodie bags for the Etsy shop. I don't know yet. And what else? I think we have to go to the grocery store tonight. We're going to be taking the husband's sports car. Yeah, we never do that, so that'll be interesting. I don't know, but my car's in the shop. Hopefully getting the water leak. Oh, and I wanted to show you guys, so... Oh, one of the things I was doing was the inky sprays thing, using up stuff. If you've watched Use It or Lose It, um, then you'll know. And this is cheesecloth. Right? It's not dry yet, but I can't wait till it's dry. I took the leavings from that and I had a piece of label paper in the bottom. It's also not dry yet, but and it's like one giant sticker, so I'm gonna be able to cut that up into strip like washi tapes type strips. So and then this one is just leftover spray cheesecloth. Less bright but no less interesting. And this is the coordinating piece of label paper that was underneath that. These were dry enough to separate today. They still are, are damp, so they've got to finish drying, but they were dry enough to pull the label paper out from underneath. seeing birds in my path like literally that's the second one I've just seen today 
it seems like for the last week or so, every time I go out for a one walk, well, for a walk, I should say, I see at least one bird. That's yeah, interesting. I'm not sure what the message is there. I have to consult with my sister. She's all knowing about things like this. Okay, so it's 11, 16 a.m. Thursday, March 6th. Yeah, March 6th. It's been quite an eventful morning. <laughs> um, it started off with me getting word from my doctor that we are lowering my blood pressure medicine by five more milligrams. So yay, means I'm doing the right thing and going in the right direction. Um, my daughter's also gonna be handling some advertising and marketing for me for the art business and the YouTube channel and all of that stuff. And we got some bugs worked out of that this morning, so yay. Um, no word on my car yet, um, but the husband is going to call uh, at lunch if we don't hear um, anything and check on see what's going up with that. And <laughs> my mother may not be getting her procedure again today, this week. So the ambulance service that was supposed to give her her ride to her hospital had all of their vehicles vandalized last night. So they had to cancel all ride appointments for today. And because of the late notice, there is literally nobody else to take her. And it's not safe to take her in a private vehicle. That's her condition is so bad. So unless they can scramble and find a transportation for her uh, or an alternative closer place to get her procedure done uh, for the spinal fluid drain, it looks like it's going to be put off again. And how long they can do that before there are serious consequences and or permanent side effects. Who knows? At this point, I think that consequences may already be permanent. So yeah, that's a thing. Hey guys, it is 12.30, Friday, Mar March, holy cow, May 7th, I think. Got my car back, yay, it's all been fixed. Didn't cost nearly as much as we thought it was going to, yay. My mom was able to get her lumbar puncture she needed last night um, via the emergency room. There was a big um, hoopla about that. I think I vlogged about it, but I don't know. Anyway, uh, but she got that done. We don't know um, if it helped or not yet. Dad's trying to find out. Um, in the meantime, getting ready for an afternoon of painting. So we've got a number of spots around the house that need touching up on the trim and the walls, like that dark spot right there, um, where the old owners had something hanging. And so we are having a local paint company um, try to color match and finish match this wall paint so that we can touch that up. Um, and we are painting two accent walls in the um, guest bedrooms upstairs. And we also have some spots around the trim that need touching up. For that, we already have the paint because um, we had to have a, a window leak repaired and our contractor actually to pull the old trim off and had it color and finish match. So we already have that. Um, and there's a lot of spots like that are just nasty, like around the laundry room doorway. I don't know if that's gonna show up on camera. Um, so we're gonna touch up some of those, and um, yeah, it's gonna probably take a few days. I don't think we're gonna get it done to all today, but the kids are gonna come over in a little bit and help, um, at least with the two big accent walls. And uh, yeah, oh, God, that's the only thing on the agenda for today. <laughs> so to be honest, that's enough. Other than that, it's just painting a around the house, but it's not fun art painting. It's just painting walls, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, that's it for the minute. I got the plants watered. I haven't gotten the sourdough starters fed, <coughs> but I may not do them until Monday and they should be okay until then because I fed them late last week. 
and I may um, make a couple batches of crackers when I do feed them and or a batch of bread because I haven't made either of those in a little bit and we're out. So it's also cloudy outside again. That's okay. All right, I'll be back. We are going to sit here in front of my newly blue wall. So each one of the guest rooms upstairs now has a accent wall that's this color. The other walls are this sort of sandy beige color. Um, yeah, and this is the one that's filled with artwork. <laughs> Not that the whole house isn't, but you know. Anyway, we also um, got the previous owners had a lot of um, artwork on the walls, and as do I. And um, they were hunters, so they had a lot of trophies on the wall, if you know what I'm talking about. And um, that's not my thing, but it was theirs, and that's fine. Um, but they left a lot of holes in the wall that were touched up with the wrong color of paint. So besides painting these two accent walls in each bedroom up here, we went to a local mom and pop paint company, Miller Paint. By the way, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, you need paint for a project. Please do look them up. They're a mom and pop um, chain. Um, each one, each franchise is privately owned. Um, and um, they were so, they have been so helpful, um, not only for this project, but other projects for us. And they, we took a like four by four patch of this off of a wall in a spot behind the dryer. Nobody's gonna ever see it. So uh, we peeled it off with some of the paper backing from the sheetrock and uh, brought it in and said, can you color and finish match this? They, say, they said, we can, but we're not the big box stores. We will do it until it's right and it will take two or three hours. I thought, okay, that's a long time. You know, usually you go into the big box stores and they scan it, it takes five minutes, right? They did such a great job. This color paint has been so hard to match and the finish on it has been so hard to match. It's perfect absolutely perfect and so we went around after this wall was painted we had some paint to match this trim then we got this new paint for this and we went around and basically touched up everything in the house that needed touching up it looks so great I am so happy um, so the kids asked what I wanted for Mother's Day I said I want you to help me paint um, they're getting their or having their wedding celebration in June um, they've already been legally married, but the big giant wedding had to be put off because of COVID. So that is happening in June and we're having people here that are fully vaccinated and or negative. We, you know, we're being cautious, but still we're having a few people come over and I want my house to look nice and I don't want all these weird spots on the walls and I want the guest rooms to finally be decorated and all of that stuff. And so I said, you know what I want for Mother's Day? Come help me with these projects at the house. And so they spent most of this afternoon here and they're going to come back tomorrow with for a couple more things because there was a couple projects that kind of weren't on my list. We have one spot on a corner that needed new mudding and taping, basically. And they've learned how to do that at their house. They do a great job at it. And it wasn't really on my list right now to do, but it needed to be due eventually, done eventually. Rebecca and Polly said, you want us to fix it now? So it's drying right now. They're going to be fixing it and then painting it. Yay. All right. So it's going to be so great for the wedding. I'm so happy. So we're going to just let all the paint dry. 
we did, I have done nothing else today except this paint stuff. <laughs> so um, I did paint stuff. It was walls. Um, so we're going to um, go have some, get some takeout from somewhere. We don't know where yet exactly. And then just sit and chill for the rest of the day. I think Bob's back is really hurting him. He has a really bad back. So DIY is not something we do a lot anymore, um, especially things like paint because it's really hard on his back. Um, so I think we're going to spend the rest of the afternoon just chilling on the sofa, probably, or the evening. I don't even know what time it is. I have no idea. Anyway, it's been a fun week. <laughs> um, it's been an interesting one. I am, um, in case you don't know and you haven't seen any of the ads or anything, I am teaching a class coming up with Bea Grob, Chelsea, uh, Peg Robinson, Petra Fuchs, and Marie Linder. Uh, and, um, it's coming up in June and the classes, um, are open seats for in the class are open for sale right now. Um, seven, is that seven? I think seven different teachers teaching seven different lessons, seven different ways, really fun stuff. Anyway, the link for that, along with my Etsy shop, my Patreon and all that stuff to support the free content and my Instagram and stuff like that. If you want to just follow me on social media is all in the link tree list of links down in the video description. My um, art foamies that are for sale are down there. Um, all kinds of stuff. So check out the video description, will you? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Please stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Happy early Mother's Day, everybody. I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.